Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how can I renew my free SSL certificate provided by Let's Encrypt. Let's go ahead. One of the main problem with the R3 certificate is that they provide you the certificate only for 3 months. So many people in the comment asking me, how oh, can I give or can I have a more certificate or can I have my certificate for six more for one year but this is not possible because they give you the certificate only for three months but you can go and renew your certificate but that can be a big overhead because if you have to go for example every day and to to execute a command or every week or to put I don't know a scheduler to know when the certificate will will expire and go and connect to your server to renew the certificate that can be a big uh, a big problem okay so now i'm going to show you or can i put a scheduler and uh, to execute that script every day and that that script will renew my free ssl certificate so let me show you first let's go to the search board website and to get more information for example, if I go to searchbot.eff.org and I go down to check my software and my system, for example, it says my HTTPS, my HTTP website is running on which software? Is it Apache? Okay, I'm going to choose Apache. Okay, because actually I'm using Apache, but uh, you can choose Nginx if you are using Nginx or other web servers. For example, in my case, I use Apache and it's running on a ubuntu 20 so i choose ubuntu 20. so once i select all those information it will load for me all the information or can i install what package should i should i install on my server which command should i execute okay or to install the certbot package but we uh, because we already did all those things now we are going to the renewal. So this is the command to renew our certificate. Say sudo certbot renew hyphen hyphen dry that hyphen hyphen dry hyphen one. So this is the command we have to execute on our server to renew the certificate. But as I said, we cannot connect to the server every day to do that. So to do that, we are going to use something called a cron. So we are going to create a cron job inside the cron tab. So let me show you. Okay, before we move forward, let's talk a little bit about a cron tab. So a cron tab is a scheduler, I can say. So uh, this scheduler you can uh, um, add it in your system that will, uh, for example, exec execute for you a, a, a script. Okay, you can execute a backup script or a log rotate. You can even restart a services. You can uh, create your, I don't know, your bash script, and after that you put it in the in a cron tab, okay? Or you can even uh, execute uh, something that after reboot, after reboot your your operating system, your Linux operating system, and it can do something for you. Maybe you can restart a service, or maybe you can start something special. Maybe Tomcat, okay? So in that case. Uh, I use something that is very useful I will share it with you that name is crontab.guru because if you are not good on crontab okay you can you can actually use crontab.guru to to create your crontab so this is a cheat you I will show you how to cheat on crontab so let's go for example uh, this is a script that I will execute uh, every day at uh, 8 every day at 8 okay so I will put for the for the for the minutes I will put 0 for the hour I will put 8 for the day I will put star that means every day for the month I will put every month and day in the week I will put star so contract go will say at 8 so that means at 8 every day this will execute so let's copy this 
and go to our operating system to Linux and uh, add our contact. Okay, so this is our operating system, Ubuntu. And now uh, the command to modify the contact is contact e in edit. Okay, so it will show this kind of uh, file that we can even uh, remove e e everything there. But in my case, I will just go and add it. So we copy this and we add it there. Um, let me go back and copy. Okay, so we have this there. So after that, we will put where the command is located actually. So the command is located inside USR. Okay, inside bin slash and we put our command which is search board but actually we can go back there and check which command put okay so the command is server set but we knew live and dry so we copy this and we go back to our terminal and we pass it oh, sorry. So now let me let me remove that first circle and there it is. Okay. So every day at eight, I don't know if it's eight p.m. or eight a.m. But you know it's I know it's eight. Okay, maybe eight eight a.m. So every day it will execute this for me. So by doing this. I will be able to renew my certificate okay so now let's save it Control X and we say yes and we enter okay actually we can check if we have a contact contact iPhone hyphen L that will listing all my contact so actually we can see it is saved there okay well, there is an important thing that I almost forget to show you because after you install the certificate you need to restart your web server right so um, inside the ground inside the ground tab we can do that okay let's go back to our contact and okay we go there let's go again and after execute this we have to put the other command to, to restart our Apache server so ser service Apache 2 restart so this is very important guys okay so that means after execute this execute another command it's like n execute this so when this is done execute this okay so this is the case so we will go and we start a uh, we renew our certificate and after that we renew uh, we will restart our web, web server so that will be that will be good now we save again yes and done okay guys thank you so much this is a uh, this is the video and please subscribe to my channel and I will add more videos.